Good morning. It is sea day number two. The unexpected one. Today we were supposed to be in Nassau. Um, the weather is warming up though. It's still a little bit breezy. That's why I got my hoodie on. Um, but it's way better than what it's been. So um, we're out and about, about to go get ready to get some breakfast. Um, but the uh, the pool deck, because they don't call it Lido. Uh, it's busy. I was about to say, people are out in the pools and um, uh, the hot tubs. There is an aerobics class uh, going on right now. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I will uh, take you guys around today and see what we get into. Um, hoping that it warms up enough. I want to check out the solarium, which is the adults only area. Um, but you know, old school, you know, I don't want it to be too cold. Get pneumonia in my booty, trying to uh, trying to be outside, you know. So, but I will take you guys along. Washi washi stations. So I've got sausage, bacon, hash browns, French toast, and then you can do a custom made to order omelet. Um, and um, they give you a buzzer to go back up and pick it up once it's ready. So they're doing an Anchors Away parade later on and they've got a lot of different like pirate ships and stuff um, out uh, for it. So some type of parade or something at three o'clock. I'm gonna try to catch it if I can remember it. Uh, the Love and Marriage show is also this afternoon. So lots to do. They made up for this unexpected sea day. Uh, and we're making the best of it. The weather is getting a little bit better as we get closer. Hopefully there's no issues with docking tomorrow at Princess K. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. We got the uh, refreshment package so we can get unlimited hop while we're on board. And we got the cup so that we can fill up at any time. Well, she is ready, honey. All right, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go before something else happens. Three, two, one, go! She is ready, honey. <laughs> Look at the couples, everybody. <laughs> Ten, nine, five, four, three, two, one, stop! <laughs> Make some noise for the ladies! Welcome back girls, welcome back. No sharing the answers with your husbands, no sharing the answers. Well welcome back ladies, while you're away we were talking to your husbands, we asked them a bunch of questions. We're now going to ask you the same questions and see if you do match up, okay? If you match up you get a point, if you don't, don't worry, this is a game, we're just having fun today. Okay, first question, we said to the husbands, think back to your first date. Where did you go? Your first date with your wife. Where did you go? What did you do? And how much was spent? <laughs> Let's see if the hubby's got it right. <laughs> what do you think, Brittany? First date. Disney. Disney! Yeah! Excellent. And if you could take a wild guess how much was spent, what would you say? Too much. Too much? <laughs> Did you have a season ticket, maybe? Yeah, we do have season passes. Yes, very good. And can you remember what you did on the day at Disney? World Star Wars. Excellent. And at the end of the end of the day, where did you go? Did you go your separate ways or did you go somewhere else? Uh -huh. um, I don't think too hard, Brittany. I already know. 
Someone from your side of the family, hubby does not want to be stuck with. Brittany, what do you think you said? I am. doesn't want to be stuck with. They can still be with us now, or they can have previously been with us. Oh, easier. easier? <laughs> Who? My mother. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a little bit more of a personal level. And this one's multiple choice, ladies, okay? We said to your husbands, how was last night for you? And the options were, was it the 4th of July? Fireworks! Was it Thanksgiving? I'm next to a turkey. Was it Halloween? Trick or treat? Or was it Memorial Day? Honouring the dead. What do you think your husband said? How was last night for you? 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Halloween, or Memorial Day? I think you would land next to a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> like, <that's> a turkey. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Oh, I said Memorial Day. <laughs> it's kind of close. <laughs> no match. <laughs> Never mind. Katie, what about you? How was last night? Oh, we were. I'm going to say Fourth of July. Fourth yeah. of July. That is the answer you went with. We kind of dabbled around with the other ones. Go on, Joe. Give her a kiss. You got it right. Yeah. Well done. Excellent. Darlene, what about you? How was last night for you? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, lying next to a turkey. Uh, or maybe Memorial Day. Memorial Day, honouring the dead. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. 
well, Craig was honouring the dead last night. <laughs> <laughs> no more, no match, no match. Okay, last question then, last question. We said to the gentleman, we said this one should be easy. In as much detail as possible, describe what your wife is wearing right now. So, Brittany, if you want to stand up, show the audience. David's going to read out what Q said you were wearing right now. He said, uh, grey hoodie, grey tights, uh, grey new balance shoes, no rings, no, uh, earrings, yes, and she is commando. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, Katie, same for you. Standing up, let's see. David, what did Joe say she's wearing? He said black dress with orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and pink, yeah. Orange and pink. <laughs> Open sandals. Uh, maybe black underwear. I'm pierced everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think, audience? Is it a match? Uh, Half points. Half, Half points. points. And I don't see any... There's a little bit of black, but not, not a whole lot of black, black dress. Very good. All right, half a point, half a point. Dolly, you want to stand on up? Show the audience. David, what did Greg say Darlene's wearing? All He's right, Darlene. White, pants, white jacket, blue shirt, glasses, open shoes, rings and bracelets, and color nude underwear. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, now at this point, we are going to now say goodbye to the gentleman. So, gentlemen, turn to your wife, give her a nice big kiss. Kissy, kissy. Make it a good one. It might be the last one you get for a while. Okay. Uh, give it up for the gentleman, everybody. Uh, welcome back, gentlemen. Welcome back. No sharing the answers. No sharing, no sharing, not yet. Now, welcome back, fellas. While we were away, we were speaking to the ladies. And, of course, right now, we are going to be asking you the same questions to see if you do match up. If you get the same answer, you get a point. If not, don't worry, all right? Now, the first one, we said to the ladies, tell us, what is your husband's most annoying habit? Just one thing. He's laughing. Do you know what it is already? Q, tell us, your most annoying habit, what is it? Smack me when I eat. <laughs> he knows, he even knows. It's very annoying, Q. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Joe, what about you? Your most annoying habit. There's so many. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with the most snoring, I guess. Snoring, yes. It's the right answer, very good. And Greg, your most annoying habit. What do you think your wife said? Probably snoring. Snoring? She actually said it was one of those, that the other one was not hearing and maybe ignoring her. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for all of our contestants. They got the first one right. Very good, very good. Okay, second question. We <coughs> said to the audience, can we get to know the ladies? They said yes. So the next question was, another multiple choice. Okay, this one is to describe your love life using a movie title. Is it The Fast and the Furious? Is it Toy Story? Is it a series of unfortunate events? Or is it Gone with the Wind? Describe your love life. Q, what do you think Brittany said? Toy Story. Toy Story is the right answer. Joe, what do you think Katie said? Can I pick two? She only chose one. Toy Story. Toy Story is the right answer. And Greg, same question to you. What do you want to say? I'll read them once again. The Fast and the Furious, Toy Story, a series of unfortunate events, or Gone with the Wind? Series of unfortunate events. Yeah. Good job, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, next up, we said to the ladies, close your eyes. We're going to do a bit of visualization. Gentlemen, I'll repeat exactly what I said to the ladies. I said, close your eyes, close your eyes. Imagine your husband steps out of the shower. He throws down his towel and there he is standing in all his glory. What do you see? Using one of the following automobiles to describe what you see. Is it a stretch limo? Is it a Ford dump truck? 
Or is it a little pink Volkswagen with two flat tires? Beep, beep. <laughs> what do you think your wife said? Stretch limo, Ford dump truck, or a little pink Volkswagen with two flat tires? Beep, beep. How'd you say? What do you think she said? Limo. Stretch limo! It's all right, that's a good stuff. Joe, what do you think your wife said? What was the third one? The third one is Little Big Volkswagen with two flat tires. Beep, beep. Absolutely, yeah. The last one! Oh, Joe, confidence. Don't be so hard on yourself. She said stretch limo. Nah, no match, never mind. You're a humble man. <laughs> Greg, what about you? What do you think your wife said? Stretch limo. <laughs> Darlene, Nicole, you know Limo. I'll let Darlene explain that one. Uh, <laughs> Darlene, Nicole, you know Limo. <laughs> Away, and we'll brought something back with you. So if you want to stand up right now, stand up right now, fellas. Now, while the gentlemen were away, we set them a project. We said, we want you to draw a portrait of your wife. Oh, goodness. So now we're going to reveal the portraits and see what they have done. On three, one, two, three, reveal. bonus point. Do you think it is our newlywed couple make some noise? Yay. Do you think it's our middle couple? No. Or do you think it's our longest married couple? Excellent. All right, Greg and Darlene, you're taking home that bonus point. I'll take these away for you right now. Thank you very much. We do have an art auction coming up later on this afternoon. You might be able to buy your own artwork back. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And then the last question then, the last question, the all-time favourite love and marriage question. We said to the ladies, tell us a crazy, wild, wacky, unusual place that you and your partner ever made. Whoopee! Whoopee! What do we think? Brittany said, Q. <laughs> crazy, wild, unusual place. Remember, there are two children sat right in the front row in front of you. <laughs> oh, can I go last? Do you want me to go around? You want me to go around? Okay, I will go around. I'm right back. <laughs> Come on, tell us. We already know, so it's no surprise to us. I'm trying to think it's a lot of places. The most crazy wild wacky. The most crazy. The parking lot? Parking lot? Yeah. Would you say this is inside or outside of the car? Oh. Both. <laughs> At work? At work? Is that oh, what you no, said? no, 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 no. After work. After work. After and what do you do for work? A DJ. Very good. Was there anything else? I think that's what we got, Brittany, right? Yeah? yeah? Audience is a match? Yeah. Give her a kiss, Q. Give her a kiss. Very good. Joe, what about you? Crazy, wild, wacky place. Again, there's so many, I don't know where to go. <laughs> we'll just go for the right. top one. <laughs> <laughs> in public? I mean, I, like, somewhere? Um, Whatever you right, think right. is the most crazy, wild, wacky. What do you think your wife would have said? She gave it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there any, any particular place that you right. went after? Oh, yeah, secrets. Yeah. Oh, we have the name now! <laughs> Tell us again. Secrets. Secrets, there you are. If anyone's in the area, that's your face. <laughs> All right. Is that the right place, Katie? Yes. Yes, give it up for Katie and Joe. All right. And Greg, hey, same wonderful. question to you. Crazy, wild, wacky place over 52 years. I'm sure you've got a few few places. My office conference room. Hey! The university. <laughs> give it up for Greg and Darlene, everybody. All right, Greg and Darlene. Give it up for all of our couples. Woo!
wonderful. Well, we've certainly learned a few things today, everyone, haven't we? Have you had a good time? Yeah.